Why would you be doing the trick? I don't know. I thought. Hey guys, Kyle Murray here. Stephen Welcome. Himmel here. <laughs> Welcome to the Unwrapped, presented by Murphy'sMagic.com. Dot com. Hey guys, hope your Saturday is going well. Kyle Marla here. We are here with Stephen Himmel. Now you might recognize Stephen Himmel from his multiple appearances on Free Trick Friday, like this one, or that one, or, well, there's a third one coming, but it would be right here if it was here already. Uh, and uh, I met up with Stephen because I'm in LA, and we had coffee, and we learned some magic together, and we hung out, and we're like best friends and whatever, like we go way back. And uh, please stop. With that being said, uh, Stephen here actually did a live performance from a great effect uh, by Danny De Ortiz. The De Ortiz and water. That's a, De Ortiz and water. It's, it's fantastic. It's a great name. Uh, so with that being said, let's go take a look at a live performance of Stephen performing that effect. All right, Aaron. All right. Um, there's an old science experiment, mm -hmm. or not really an experiment, but you know how if you mix oil and water, mm -hmm. shake them up, mm -hmm. give it a second, they settle out, right? Yeah. So we're going to try to demonstrate that here with a deck of cards. Okay. Sounds kind of interesting, right? Yeah. You take the deck, okay. and what I'd like you to do is spread through the deck and remove all the eights and nines that you come okay. to. And while you're doing that, I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a close up on that. <laughs> okay. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Okay. Two, there it is. All right, so that's yep. all of them. Awesome. Perfect. So now, look, you're going to take two blacks, two reds. I've got two blacks, two reds. Okay. And arrange them in alternating red black order. Okay. Doesn't matter. Black, yep. red, red, black. Good? Yeah. All right. Now, you, you can set them down on the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, face oh, up. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, I've seen this trick, so you don't need to hide anything <laughs> from me. All right. No, so, okay. um, red, black, red, black order, right? Okay. We're going to try something by mixing them up. You're going to okay. mix up a set, okay. and I'm going to mix okay. up a set. Yeah. Okay. So, that's your set, and perfect. You just leave oh, it there. Okay. And four, four. And yeah, so here we go. Let's okay. let's arrange these uh -huh. in red, black, alternating order, right. right? And pick up your pile. Okay. And turn it face down. Mm -hmm. Face down. Pick it up and keep it face down in your hand like this. Oh, uh, like this. Yeah, okay. and just turn over the top card. Mm -hmm. gotta, okay, so let uh, take your black card and just move it to the bottom. So we'll both start with the red cards. Okay. All right. So take the top two cards. Mm -hmm. And you can look at them, right? Red and black. Just drop them down. Okay. Take the next two and just drop them on top. And you could next two, right? Drop yeah. them on top. And the last two, drop them on top. Awesome. Okay. Now, as you can see, red, black, red, black, red, black, right? Uh -huh. yep. Go ahead and square yours up. Snap. Now, if we oh. just move this one right Oops. here. <laughs> now, that's pretty good, though, right? Yeah, yeah. What's even more impressive is the deck. Now, this was oh, a shuffled gosh. deck, right? Yeah, I was. And you, 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 all you removed were the eights and the nines, but somehow all the reds and all the blacks have separated themselves from one another. Wow, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> well, thank you very cool. much, Aaron. Yeah, sweet trick, dude. Awesome, yeah. thank you. Good luck, guys. <laughs> okay, so that was a live performance of Steven performing a great oil and water effect by Mr. Danny Dortiz, which we both love. I mean, he's so great, right? Fantastic. Uh, and, and Steven, tell me your thoughts. Uh, well, you know, there's so many oil and waters out there, but uh, this is this is a great one. It's no extra cards, and then you get a full uh, deck separation at the end. Technically, it's impromptu. Yeah, yeah, it, definitely. It, it takes could be done like impromptu. a minute of setup, but not too much. Not, no, the setup's not bad. Although it is uh, one of the effects that really is uh, strengthened by its presentation. There are a couple things in there. It's a very, if you're familiar with Juan Tamara's performance, and, and Danny uh, and a few of those uh, guys from Spain and things like that, they yeah. have this similar personality, which really helps them be able to pull off magic. Like Danny would do disarming. <laughs> well, Danny, like, he has a habit of like, here, I don't want to touch, I don't want to touch, I don't want to touch. And then just, her pick it up and then her touch it and set up a whole thing. And he's like, I never touched it, I never touched it. Right. And you believe him because he talks so fast and he's so likable that you don't even remember him doing that. It's a little difficult for like a guy like me to do that because if I said, "Yo, I ain't gonna touch that deck, girl," because that's how I talk when I perform, you know. Of course. Uh, but then they're gonna be like, "Yo, you touch that deck, boy," because that's how they talk to me, and so they would know. 
But uh, I mean, you did it, and mm -hmm. I think you just gotta reword it. Yeah, more. I mean, you, you gotta find a way to make it fit with your presentational style. Uh, mm -hmm. it, but it's it's a very strong effect, and it's, I it's it's pretty it's simple to, too. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty simple. Um, and it fooled me when he first sold, when he first showed me. Well, I'm sorry. When I first saw Danny perform it, the d full deck separation at the end fooled me hardcore. Oh, that killed that killed me the first time I saw it. I had no idea. Not a clue. No idea. And and even if you know, it's still very clever. Like, and even if you know and you're still doing it and you're still going through the deck, you don't realize what's really happening to this so much because you're so focused on the trick and right. not whatever what's, like what's really happening. The method in the face and they can't oh, they're exactly they're yes, they are totally looking the method right in the face and they have no idea, it, which is really great. Yeah. And then the oil and water in their hands, com literally is completely hands off. Yeah, it's it's all in their hands. I mean, you you touch the cards once, you you give it to them, and that's it. And you know they. They just follow the directions. Yeah. That's all they have to do. It's a great trick. I mean, that's all I really got to say about it. You any more on sense? Solid. I solid. Mean, like a rock. Out, solid like get a that. rock. You. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, with that being said, let's go take a look at uh, a performance by me, by Great Effect, by Mark Elsden. Aaron. Yeah. I have a trick. Okay. Okay. Uh, this trick involves two different predictions. Okay. They're in black envelopes. You know why? Because it's more mysterious that way. All right. They're not tricked envelopes. They're not tricked envelopes. They're on sale, maybe. Not yeah, they're just, they're, just, they're just there. Um, and I also have deck cards. Mm -hmm. uh, but this deck cards, it's, it's, uh, it's normal deck cards. Normal, 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 normal. But there is something kind of weird behind them. Okay. Uh, each card, I've taken a marker and I've written a different number on them, mm -hmm. okay? So instead of having you pick a card, mm -hmm. I'm just going to have you pick a number. Okay. okay. So there's like a 13, 9, 5, 6. You just, just whenever you see one, you just tell me to stop. Okay. I'll take that one. The 11th? Yeah. Okay. Uh, give it back to me. I didn't okay. say take oh, it. Dang, sorry. girl. Well, you did, but. Okay. <laughs> so the, the 11th card was okay. the eight of diamonds. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to choose a random number okay. because you didn't know what card was behind right. that. Right. So now there's numbers here, but you don't know what number. So just uh, what card do you want? Uh, let's do the four hearts. Four hearts. Yeah. Okay. And that's the number 31. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now that was a free choice. Okay. You freely chose a number, yep. which happened to be the eight of diamonds. Yep. And you freely chose a card, uh -huh. which happened to be the uh, 31, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, my, one of my prediction has been sitting here. So we're going to set that aside. Okay. A diamond's 31, right? Okay. Look, inside, uh, 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 A diamonds. But okay. what's cool is on the back. It's 31. If I can get it, it's 30. And there's nothing else in the envelope. Now, right. that was pretty good. I mean, mm -hmm. your face seems mm -hmm. very I'm concerned. Just to figure it out. Now, figure it we out. have another prediction here. Okay. So let's take it a step further, shall we? Yeah. Let's try it again. Okay. So, uh, some more numbers. Mm -hmm. Just whatever number you would do you want. Uh, okay. Let's do, let's do 31 again. Uh, 31 again. Now, do you, yeah. that, 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 you might, I don't even think that's like a force or yeah, force. Yeah. That, that was your choice, right? Yeah, it looks like a good card. <laughs> 31. And yet again, we need another card. Okay. Uh, so that one was, oh, the Keenan Clubs. Okay. Now we need another card. Let's do, um, the 10 of Clubs. 10 of Clubs, okay. which is the 23rd card number. Okay. Keenan Clubs 23rd. Okay. And that's going to be this card? <laughs> Take a look. Go ahead. All right. Holy fucking shit! Hmm. Can I get a high five? She's blown my mind a little bit. <laughs> high five? Yeah. Awesome. That's a pretty cool trick. I All right, so that was a live performance of me performing a trick by Mark Elzen called Infallible. In infallible. Infallible. Which he is not, clearly. What? <laughs> so I really like this effect. I thought it was very clever. I mean, I showed you, mm -hmm. and it was, it, even if you know kind of what's going on, you don't really know what's going on because it's fooling because there's two predictions that are happening. Mm -hmm. Now, the DVD and stuff that you get uh, is well shot because it's by Alec Azam and all that stuff, so they do really good stuff. Um, the main presentation that Mark and Peter Nardi teach on the DVD is where you can actually text someone a video uh, or multiple videos of uh, both predictions. So therefore, it's on their phone, right. so you know you can't backtrack, you know that those, those envelopes aren't gimmicks, you can't do any sleight of hand, because it's literally a video on your phone, which is a really nice, solid convincer mm -hmm. that you're not doing sleight of hand or, or faking anything or whatever. Uh, I just chose to do it with the envelope because this was a random spectator I met. I didn't want to ask her for a number and become that creepy magician guy who goes around asking, like you. Right, right. exactly. Right, like, like he does. Uh, so the one downfall for me, and it's not really a downfall, uh, is that you can't really perform this effect with a bicycle deck of cards. Uh, it is a deck of cards, but there is a nice uh, 
reasoning behind that is because you're writing on the card. So therefore, if you bring out this deck and you have all the writing on it, you can put that away and bring out a new deck without writing and, and switch it in and out, which is nice. And it, it, that helps. I mean, no one... Well, I mean, if they ask, you know, why are you using a different well, deck, it doesn't. you can say, well, this was a cheap deck that I wanted to write on and didn't want well, yeah, to Yeah, but also, it. nobody cares that it's not a bicycle deck except for magicians. It, yeah. No one cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. He doesn't care. I don't, I don't care. care. Nobody cares. The trick is really fooling because it's, uh, it's based on an old idea that other well-known card effects with writing on the back of the cards, like the it, it uses a principle like that, but it's, can, it, it's, it's clever because there's, you can do it twice in a row. Uh, and also on the DVD, they talk about, uh, going back to the video idea, you can actually send the video and actually perform this over Skype to them, which is really nice because if you're doing like an online interview for a gig or whatever, you're like, hey, there's a video, I have a deck of cards here, boom, and that's a nice trick that you can do, which is, uh, I mean, that's, that's always good to have that type of strong material sure. in your repertoire to do. No setup, really. I mean, you can, it's an instant reset. Uh, you, when you get the cards, you just have to add the numbers to the back of them, and that's it. And they give you the envelopes and the predicting cards, and... I think it's really strong for the spectator too to, you know, have these okay. four random moments still yeah. come together. Yeah. You know. To and it's a nice beat because you could you could, and what's nice about this you don't have to do it with both predictions. Right. You can do it a single prediction, but the the second prediction is nice because you do it and then you do it you offer to do it again or they ask for you to do it again. And now they're going to watch you extra close or they're going to like, you know, oh, I want to change my number. And they totally can. They totally can. So they're going to try to catch you, which now they're like, oh, I got you now, Mr. Magic Guy. But even then, at the end, you still hit them really hard yeah. with really the same effect, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the deck can't be handed out, but at that point, it doesn't really matter because it's just cards with writing. And like I said, by that point, you should probably switch it out for a normal deck and start, you know, keep doing your magic. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good effect, just in all in all. I think it's great. I think it's great. Word. You. Okay. Hey guys, that was Unwrapped. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Stephen Hemmel. Hello. And now if you watch, why are you say, they've already met you. Goodbye. Well, we're not saying goodbye yet. This is, hey, yeah, uh, Stephen Hemmel. Uh, anywho, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative and helps you choose your magical purchases and whatnot. Now if you watched Unwrapped before, you know every single week we give away last week's prizes. And how you do that is you comment below, tell me what you like and what you didn't like about both of those effects, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That is a rule and I do check, so make sure you subscribe or you don't win. That's how it works. Uh, and the winner of this week's comp uh, test for last week's prizes is Scream Skull 10. Scream Skull 10, yep. Yep, what That's a what name. It is. I think people regret YouTube names. Because you can't change them? Well, no, okay, so first of all, my first YouTube channel, or this, we're getting off sidetrack. My first YouTube channel was Magic is Hard. Right, because I was like, "Oh, that's clever." Because mm -hmm. then I'll put like really crazy good magic on it, and people are like, "Oh yeah, magic is hard. That's okay." But then people don't read it with spaces, so they're like, "Magic is hard." Magic, magic, magic is hard. Like they don't, they don't put the space. It's all one word. Yeah, I mean, it's you, you gotta when people you gotta think about YouTube names. But I'm not saying this guy's, you know, or girl's, you know, scream skull ten. I mean, that's a pretty kick, you know, kick butt name, and there's like a skull of fire and stuff. But congratulations is what I'm really saying. So uh, you're welcome. Go to Facebook.com/slash/MarryFaceMagicSupply. Shoot me a message, we will get your prizes. Congrats. If you'd like to win this week's prizes, do the exact same thing. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I will check, and he will check. Everybody will check. And if you don't subscribe, you don't win. And comment below, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like about both these prizes. What comment on Steven? nice plaid shirt and look at this oh oh you, i can't do it with my right oh you got a thread there with a with a yeah i can't really it, it works better when it's lower uh and uh tell me what you like about the facts subscribe and next week we'll pick a random winner uh steven won't be here because i'll be uh in back in vegas no. um but you can you know find him where can people find you steven oh you can find me at YouTube or <laughs> Stephen Himmel Magic? You what's, just what's, your, what's your YouTube? Like, I think Stephen Himmel. Stephen Himmel 2014, mm -hmm. I Love Rock and Roll. Not even close. Okay. Man, just search Stephen Himmel, you'll find some stuff on yeah, there. He's yeah, got, he's got skill. And go watch uh, Stephen's Free Trick Fridays. You've done Free Trick Fridays yeah, with us. Yeah, got a couple things. And, and he's got more coming with us. Yeah. That's fun. Cool. So, uh... Well, have an awesome weekend, guys. Kyle's clearly... Uh, on his way oh, we're out. still going. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, okay, see you guys next week. Adios.